So now the question is, now Donald Trump's still the president, right? Like Donald Trump's still the president for a couple months. So what should he do? Now this is what I think he should do. I think that a lot of people are saying, you know, he should fight the system. He should indict Hunter Biden. He should go after Joe Biden. Like, but those people are just echoing the same things that they were saying four years ago about indict Trump, uh, get Russia, get the dossier, you know, all that stuff. So I don't think he should waste his time with that. I think if he wants to really, if he wants to really make a mark, what he should do for the next couple months is get this vaccine pushed through as fast as possible. If he gets this vaccine pushed through as fast as possible, he could say, I also dealt with COVID. I also cured COVID. I mean, think about that. Think about if he eliminates ISIS, boosts the economy, you know, does all this stuff. And then on the way out says, oh, by the way, here's the vaccine for COVID, a, a virus like we've never seen before, a pandemic that we've never seen before, global pandemic, shut down the whole damn world. People are still dying from it. Here's your vaccine, 90 plus percent success rate. See you later, suckers. What that would do is it would completely eliminate Joe Biden's need, basically, because all Joe Biden can do is cure coronavirus. And by cure, I mean, you know, just kind of give us a, I don't mean he actually is in the laboratory, but if Trump does it, then what the hell is Biden going to do? You know, then, then there is no regulations. There is no relief. There is no vaccine. Trump's already done it all. What's the news going to do? The news has been blaming coronavirus on Trump the whole time. So if he also hands you the vaccine, now this could also position Trump to run again in 2024. If he cures coronavirus, his uh, his campaign in 2024 looks pretty pretty real. You know, all of a sudden he's sitting here saying, hey, look, guys, remember that thing called coronavirus? I also fixed that. You know, so now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to say? Now what's the negative? Now what's it going to be? Right? Because at that point, you would think that like racial tensions and stuff like that are just going to keep flaring up. So it won't be it won't be the same narrative that Trump's getting now. That's what I think you should focus on. I think you should focus on taking the wind out of Biden's sails. Because again, Biden is not coming into this with any momentum. Biden and Harris, all of this narrative right now that you're hearing, this like super jubilation, this is all just anti-Trump talk. There, no one is excited for Kamala Harris. No one is excited for Joe Biden. These two could barely even get the Democratic nomination. Joe Biden... Joe Biden wasn't tracking well at all. Look, looked like Bernie Sanders was going to be the nominee. Again, Kamala Harris was doing even worse than Biden. She dropped out getting like 2%. She was, no one liked these two people. These are, pro, I mean, these might be the two most disliked people who, whoever from their own party to ever become president. I guess Trump might be because the Republicans hated Trump. I mean, it's, it's pretty wild. So they have zero momentum going into it at all. So now, if the only thing they can do is do something with coronavirus and Trump does it, then it makes him look great. This is what I think Trump should focus on, 110%. Now, I also think Trump, if I was a betting man, I would bet Trump is going to open his own media company. I, I think that's the obvious thing. Because I think there is a... I think obviously... There is a desire for the for this kind of radical, you know, kind of like volatile talk on the right, and I think that you know he's he's not happy with Fox News at all. He, him, and Rupert Murdoch are not boys right now. So I think that as Fox News gets less in the Republican corner, I think you can see Trump open up his own media empire, and I think people will will go to that. And Trump is a businessman, so I would not be surprised at all if Trump said, you know what. I'm gonna fund this new media empire. I'm gonna pull a Ted Turner here, with, like with CNN, and Trump. All of a sudden, he's he's uh, making billions because he owns whatever the biggest media company in the United States. So I think that's what Trump will do moving forward. Um, I, th- I think that'll be, I think that will be his move is focusing on this on this media company, this media empire thing. Whether that means Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity and like all these people are gonna be behind it, who the hell knows? But if I'm in Trump's team, I'm saying, look, man, let's forget about a lot of the conspiracy theory stuff. Let's get this vaccine out there. And then if you want to do the media thing, fine. Maybe even run in 2024. But that's, what, that's where I see Trump going with this.